hello guys so i'm going to show you how to flash the galaxy a8 rom on galaxy j7 2016 so i assume that uh, you already flashed the customer recovery as uh, already given the links in my video description and if you did not uh, flash it here then just uh, download the recovery file from my given links and also the rom and flash the custom recovery via odin software the recovery must be the latest i will give the link of recovery the latest version and uh, want to tell you one more thing that my galaxy j7 2016 model number is j710 gn this one is having exynos chipset those g7 which is having snapdragon chipset this rom will not work so this uh, rom will only work on exynos chipset so after the flashing custom recovery boot your g7 into custom recovery that uh, would be uh, volume up key hold it press along with the home key and switch on the device and when logo appears release the power key do not release the other keys and when recovery screen appear release all the keys then see the recovery version 3.2.1 and start your procedure by backing up the, your rom whatever rom you have the stock or the custom always make a backup first do not uncheck any of these partition that already selected just swipe to make a backup then go to the main screen click wipe then to advance wipe I want to tell you that uh, copy the ROM file in your internal storage or in your SD card if you are having micro SD. So going to the wipe and advanced section then select the Delvic Art cache number one, number two the system and number three data. Leave the internal storage then number four cache. Select these four partitions or options then swipe to start wiping the data. After that, go to the main screen by back by pressing the back option. Now click the install and you will see your storage. At my, my ROM file is in the micro SD card I am having. So I will go uh, to my external SD card and this is the file that is the ROM file I'm going to flash. Select the ROM file and swipe to confirm and start flashing. Now the aroma option will start click next check the i agree with these terms of use etc then next next and uh, leave the this option selected next okay next please make sure you choose the correct variant okay if you want to change then go ahead well if you don't want then leave it selected press next and uh, do the selection like if you want the things that you want to you want to have in the custom ROM then select it dual sound mode I'm going to select this one and the rest of the thing is good okay rounded corners get the rounded corners give a try next choose mode fix to install samsung edge screen if you want to the edge option then select otherwise leave it i'm not going to select that not going to select the samsung email well i must say that do the selection by like the one the things that you want to have the in the raw go for that do not uh, follow my selection next leave it selected next it's good 300 dpi standard go for the standard one next and we are good to go and ready to go just to click uh, press next and okay and the flashing of rom is started now wait for that and let the flashing of rom to be finished
Fletching is completed and when you see that uh, uh, reboot and enjoy advanced aid just uh, uh, press install and finish now it asking reboot now just no press it no do not press the yes from here okay go to go back to the main uh, recovery screen swipe it to unlock and then reboot system and press do not install the team win recovery app your set will get restart and will take a first boot and i already changed my splash screen to galaxy note 8 So I'm going to wait and let the first boot complete. It will take around 12 to 13 or 14 minutes. So finally, uh, first boot complete. Uh, it is asking me to SIM G, select a primary service. Okay, I'm going to select SIM card, uh, SIM card to one. Okay, going to uh, complete my setup screen now. So uh, this was the procedure of flashing the Galaxy A8 custom ROM on Galaxy G7 2016 edition and I hope that you guys may have an idea how to flash this custom ROM on Galaxy G7 2016. As I mentioned before in my video that this ROM is pre-rooted, you don't have to flash any extra root option. Thank you for watching. If you have not uh, subscribed my channel yet, then just uh, check and subscribe my channel. Also click the bell icon and stay up to date with my videos and I will try to bring more good videos of like that. Take a good care of yourself. Thank you once again. Goodbye.